Women got one job, and that job is to pick who you gonna be with. Exactly. And y'all don't even do that job right. right. So any man you can complain about, he wasn't masculine, he wasn't an alpha, he wasn't a high earner. You picked him. Right. You had one job. I agree. As a woman, and it's to pick the man you want to be with, and you can't even do that right because you keep picking them bad. I, ladies, I want you to make a list of the man you want. A full list. I Write it down like you're going grocery shopping. If you want him to be six feet tall, I want him to make $3 million a year. I want him to drive this. Whatever you want, put that list together. I want him handsome. I want him with dimples. I want him strong. And when you get to the end of that list, ask yourself, is the type of man that you just named, does he want you? Because if he don't, you can wish all you want. I hear a lot of women out there talking about, well, I'll be feminine for the right man. Mm. Imagine a man saying, I'll be masculine for the right woman. That's, ugh. yeah. Well, the right what woman come even along, I'll be masculine. Yeah. I'm not exactly. sure what that means. It's, <laughs> it's just his asinine. Yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? Back again with another video for the past. Poor bros. First and foremost, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot, and I appreciate it very, very dearly. Now, today we have our brother here speaking that good word of how it is on and the responsibility the job if you may the most important task for modern women today western women's these strong and independent to pick the right man find the right dude that they're gonna spend the rest of their life with that is their one and most important job and yet they still can't even do that right they're chasing after the pookies the ray rays the don don quavius is the john quavius the don televavius all the aviuses and all these guys are the wrong dudes these guys that have bad credit little to no education a lot of times they can't even take care of themselves can barely even take care of their bills a lot of times they ain't got no car they got a bus pass they got uber lyft Running after the bus. Wait, wait, wait. That's them. They know the bus schedule like the back of their hand. They're taking Route 57 every day. Quick break, guys. I just wanted to introduce and that's to you the free money-making guide to become a passport bro and sustain your lifestyle overseas. How to make money as a passport bro working remotely. Get your guide now. Join the community. type of dudes that these women pick as their baby daddy their lovey-dovey their one and only and when they make this mistake they always turn and say oh look at these men these men are not good enough these men are not serious uh these men don't want to uh, be mature they don't want to be uh 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 strong individuals they don't want to be providers absolutely not absolutely not wrong false it's the men you pick you choose the men you like the men you want the men you attract which are the ones who are like this the men you attract are the ones that don't know how to act. But that's because of you. And after attracting these men, after choosing these men, you then allow these men into your environment and allow them to come in and destroy from within. But you chose them and you allowed them to do so. You enabled them to do so you put the battery in they pack you gave them the battery pack you like the energizer bunny dora last you gave them the ability to 
destroy your sanctity. You did it. You. And now you want to blame all the men for the small percentage of men that you pick for yourself. That's being a manipulator and a liar. Because there's a lot of good dudes out here for you to pick from that are taking care of themselves, well-educated, uh, 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 articulates, well-mannered, respectable. They know how to take care of their bills. They have their head screwed on right, educated, well-dressed, all that and more. But no, they're corny. They're boring. No, 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 not them. No, of course not. Look at him. He can't even dress. He ain't got no Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Woody, Woody. Of course not. Look at his shape up. His hair, his hairline a little bit crooked. Like, come on. He can't even dress. Like, he don't even match. Oh my gosh. I can't no. Him? No. Definitely not. Oh, but him over there with the waves, John Quavalavius. Him over there? Oh, him, he's the one. Oh, look at his waves. Look, look at them waves. I'm swimming. Oh, look at them waves go. Woo! Tundra. Oh, he's the one right there. That's my baby daddy. And another thing that our brother here spoke on, which is absolute facts, is the wrong mentality, the toxic mentality of Western women today saying, oh, I'll be feminine once I find the right man. Once the right man comes around, then I'll be feminine. And the whole lack of logic behind that whole mentality is astounding. Absolutely 1000% astounding. Because it makes no sense. Saying, oh, I'll be feminine once I find the right man is like somebody saying, oh, I'll be a good worker once I find the right job. Yeah, I'm going to come to work on time and I'm going to actually put effort into my job once I find the right job that I actually like. And it's like, but if you don't put in good work and if you're not a good worker, how are you going to get to that right job? How are you going to get to the point where you're even going to be paid properly? and move up the ladder because your reputation speaks for itself. That job that you're slacking off at now is gonna be on your resume. And when whatever job in the future you want to apply for, when they see a resume and they look into your references and they call back to that previous job and they find out that you was a slacker, in and out of placer, coming in late, doing all types of nonsense that's going to be your reputation and that within itself can stop you from moving up the ladder and progressing in your career saying oh i'll be feminine for the right man is 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 that's the equivalent of somebody saying like oh yeah uh, uh if, if somebody's in school and being like oh i'm gonna start studying and i'm gonna actually start putting in effort to like pass this class once I find a class that I actually like, once I find a, a subject that I actually like, or I find a teacher that I actually like, or, or I can I can vibe with, then I'm gonna start like caring about class. It's like, it, you're gonna find it very, very hard to succeed or, you know, do well in school if you're just waiting for the right class, the right subject, the right teacher to come along, then you're gonna start putting in the necessary effort that you're supposed to. It's like, no, that's what you're supposed to be doing regardless. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to progress. You're going to basically be failing every step of the way up until the point where you find something that you like. Then you're going to start actually putting in effort towards success. But you're not going to get that success or that opportunity if you don't actually build that habit of, you know, hard work putting in dedication, time, motivation, consistency, reliability, 
being trustworthy, all that and more. So these women saying, oh, I'll be feminine for the right man. That within itself, that mentality within itself is going to be the very reason why you don't get that right man. Why? Because you're basically saying, okay, I'm going to be masculine as hell. Every step of the way, any and every day, every day, any and if every which way. Up until I find Mr. Right, then I'll flip on uh, the femininity like a light switch. I don't know why these women feel like their femininity could just be flipped on like a light switch. Like, are they PSCNG? Like, they the electric company? Because last time I checked, that's not right and that's not how things should be but let's just go along with that so you say you're going to be masculine up until the point you find the right dude but that's the thing if you're not feminine from jump it's going to be very hard for you to find that right dude why because that masculine mindset that masculine behavior is a habit. It's going to be a habit that is going to be ingrained in your daily life, your, your daily behavior, your mindset. And once it's time, once you do find that right man, Mr. Right, Mr. Perfect, it's going to be very hard for you to break that habit because that's the thing. It's a habit now. You're masculine as hell. It's not going to be that easy for you realistically to just flip on the flip the switch on the femininity and just turn it on like a light switch once you find Mr. Right because you've been masculine as hell every step of the way. It's a habit that's already been ingrained into your subconscious. You might not even necessarily know the masculine behavior that you're exemplifying that this man, Mr. Right, is going to see and that could be something that, you know, pushes him away. That nasty attitude, that, you know, mentality of, oh, I need to stand up for myself. I need to a, a, a speak out of turn. I need to tell him about himself. I need to be argumentative. I need to be aggressive. I need to be combative. That mentality is going to stick with you once you find that right man. And you're going to see, or you might not even see. But the thing is, is he's going to see. He's going to see, he's going to pay attention, and he's going to make a determination on how you are, who you are, and the value of you. And that could be what pushes him away and scares him from going any further with you or taking you seriously. So that within itself, that mentality of saying, oh, I'll be feminine for the right man. That within itself is the very reason why you won't find that right man. Because you think that femininity is something that you can flip on like a light switch when it's beneficial for you. And you think masculinity is something you can flip on a, like, a, like a light switch when it's also beneficial for you. But that's the thing. Men, especially high value men, don't like masculine women. If you're a woman that has to flip on a switch for masculinity and flip on a switch for femininity when it's beneficial for you, those are not the type of women that men want. Those are not the type of women that men want to commit to or take seriously. So that within itself is going to be what confirms your loneliness. So with that being said, guys, continue to get your flights continue to get your passports if it ain't foreign it's boring if it ain't foreign i'm ignoring passport boys we up please like subscribe thank you guys